Hi guys. So I wanted to review a book and I've done this video so many times because for some reason my son just wants to cry. So here I go again. The book I wanted to review is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. This book is so precious to me. I absolutely love this book. It made me cry. It made me feel things that I was I didn't think I was capable of feeling with a fictional character. And as I do this review, I am going to be very um, basic because I don't want to ruin this book for anyone else who wants to enjoy it. So with that being said, a brief synopsis of the book is that it focuses on two centered characters who start off as children from completely opposite ends of the spectrum. One of the uh, main characters is a young French girl by the name of Mary Lore, who is blind and lives with her single father. And the way that he helps his child maneuver life is that he creates miniature replicas of the city so that she can kind of weave her hands through them and learn how to maneuver outside in the real world, which I thought was so cool. Like I've never heard that concept ever described before. Um, and then the other character is Warner, who is a young boy living in Germany and uh, he's an orphan with his sister, Jetta. And he is very passionate about science and math to where he develops a passion for fixing radios. Um, with that passion, um, it ultimately leads him to marry Laura. And I think the two beautiful key concepts about this book is that they start off as children completely with different opposite lives, yet somehow as they get older and they experience their life through World War II, somehow as they get older, their lives become weed together until, until they ultimately find one another. And it's just a beautiful tale. It's, it's just an amazing read, an amazing journey. And I think another beautiful thing about this book is that even though it is focused on war, it is not the main focal point at all. It is about two people finding themselves and finding one another. And I, I think the fact that, you know, we grow up and, you know, in school we study about World War II and somehow you know, where um, we're kind of ingrained to hate the Nazis, obviously. And yet somehow Warner becomes a Nazi soldier, not by choice, but somehow becomes a soldier. Yet the author made us sympathize with him. And he put a face to both sides of the story to where you can connect with them understand them and realize that the situations and the decisions they made in life were not solely based on who they were, but yet structured around the world around them, if that makes sense. And it's just, it's just a beautiful read. Like I said, one of my most beloved books, and obviously it's a Pulitzer Prize winner for a very good reason. So I hope you guys pick this book up and fall in love with it the way that I did.